In this video, we're going to explore a rosso from Puglia. Welcome back to Drinking It In. I am your host, Chris Cassara. We are here to help you know more and drink better. And um, in today's video, we are discussing a wine that has a lot of my favorite characteristics. It's kind of like all my favorite things wrapped up into one. So what are we talking about? So this is a 2019 Gran Maestro Rosso from the Puglia IGT. So this is a typical, an Indio, Indicazione Geografica Tipica um, wine from the Puglia region in, uh, in Italy. And it has, um, it has some Sangiovese grape in here. It's got some uh, Zinfandel, technically Primitivo, which is uh, the same as we call Zinfandel. And it is made in the Appassiamento uh, method. So that means the grapes are dried on straw mats for, I think, about two months in this case. So what happens is you get a, uh, you know, the flavors really concentrate. Um, now, if you've had um, Amarone wines before, this is made in a similar style, the Apasamento style, but um, I don't believe this wine is as big and bold as an Amarone uh, would be. But I was excited to, uh, to have a sip of this, and I figured, let me share it with you guys. And, um, and hopefully it's as good as I'm hoping it is. And uh, this way you can go out and look for some wines from Puglia, which are not really that well represented uh, in the world today. Huh. So this is, sorry, uh, let's see, thanks to the Apulian experience of our winemaker Massimo Marin, we create a unique red blend. It's rich and velvety. We apply our traditional partially dried grapes process, so-called parziale. Let me get a close-up on this guy. I like the, uh, the label. Appassimento. Again, pick the grapes, dry them out on straw mats, then uh, it intensifies the flavors. There's a lot of fruit, a lot of darkness in here, dark fruit. So this wine smells a little bigger than I was um, expecting. Sometimes, you know, Sangiovese based wines, they're, they're a little, they can be lighter and that sour cherry that, you know, comes across, can come across, um, it doesn't come across usually very dark. This is dark. So the Primitivo part of the blend is definitely taking over. There's blackberries, there's blueberries, there's cherries, there's savory herbs, shall we say rosemary, thyme, oregano even. I'm getting the that baking spice note, right? So, mm, nutmeg, clove. So this there's a lot going on in this wine. It smells great. I just, I just hope it's nice. It is as, um, hopefully it is as rich and velvety as they say on the front label, no less. It's pretty rich, it's pretty velvety. Um, it's, it's surprisingly light on the palate. Not that it's going away, it's definitely still there. A nice long finish on this one. A touch of tannin, right? I feel a little, you know, cottony feeling on my teeth. So, you know, there is some grip to this, but it is, um, this is really well balanced. The, the blackberries, almost comes across as a little bit of a dry blackberry. Prunish, plumish, you know, plums, blackberries. I didn't necessarily get the, or think of plums on the, on the nose, but they're definitely coming through on the palate because it's like you're, you're, you're eating one of those little sun sweet uh, one prunes.
this is nice. There's a little, little spiciness to it. Not quite wasabi in that it, you know, goes up your nostrils and makes your eyes tear, but there's a warmth. There's a, there's a little spiciness to this, which in addition to the plums, the blueberries, the blackberries, the prunes, this is a good one. Okay, so in the end, um, if you happen to see this, go, you know, absolutely pick it up. I am going to be uh, keeping my eye out for the Grand Maestro Rosso Puglia wine if, I'm, if I see it in a store. I like that it has this like little crest on the bottle. That's fun. Uh, reminiscent of uh, some of the bottles in the Rhone Valley, Chateauneuf de Pop, the Gigandas, the Vacaras. They, they have those uh, nice crests on the bottles. Great experience. Um, I had a hunch it would be. Um, my friends got this at Last Bottle Wines. Unfortunately, I only bought one bottle. I should have bought multiples. I don't know how much I paid for it, but it definitely was not, uh, I would have paid a lot more. Go find some more dark, more red wines from Puglia. You'll be thrilled. Um, thank you so much for joining and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.